Hidden San Francisco, the guide to lost landscapes, unsung heroes, and radical histories. Stop T1, Mission Plank Road at 3rd and Mission Streets. Standing at today's 3rd and Mission, it's difficult to imagine what it looked like in 1851. To the south and southwest, where the Yerba Buena Gardens is now, was the edge of marshes, and in the distance were sand ridges undulating across the landscape. To the southeast was a sand dune towering over a hundred feet tall, blocking the view of Rincon Hill behind it. Looking north up 3rd Street, notice how it climbs approximately 25 feet to Market Street, a hint of the former landscape beneath, you would have seen a large sand dune blocking the way until excavators cut a passage through to connect Kearney Street to 3rd Street to build Mission Plank Road. Mission Plank Road was financed in 1851 by the entrepreneur Colonel Charles Wilson. It follows closely the route of today's Mission Street and its early history tells a surprising story of the terrain that we now blithely ignore as just another old city street. First of all, Mission Plank Road was devised to connect the city's new center at Portsmouth Square overlooking Yerba Buena Cove with the old mission, miles to the southwest across nearly impassable sand dunes and swamplands. Other than an hours long effort on horseback across shifting sands and dangerous bogs, one reached the mission by boat through the sprawling Mission Bay and into the deep channel that ran from approximately today's 8th and Townsend to the tidal inlet around today's 17th and 18th streets and Shotwell Folsom streets. First, the road had to break through the 80-foot sand dune that covered the area that is today's intersection of 3rd and Market, Kearney, and Geary. A path was cut through from north, Kearney Street, to south, 3rd Street, and wooden planks were laid down as the roadbed. The planks were made of Oregon fir, each one four inches thick. The original route went down 3rd Street and then right, west, on Mission, following the same path of today's street all the way to its curve southward around 12th, and to what was originally Center Street and now is known as 16th Street. The problem was at approximately 7th Street, where a deep bog extending from Mission Bay through the dunes northwesterly blocked the route. Few understood then that a major upwelling of fresh water from the aquifer under the peninsula created a brackish wetland, where fresh water and tidal salt water met to create a remarkably fertile zone of swampy mud considered it an unfortunate impediment and obstacle to be removed by road builders at the time. Across the bog, planners tried to erect a bridge built on pilings, quote, but that plan had to be abandoned, to the astonishment and dismay of the contractor. The first pile, 40 feet long at the first blow of the pile driver, sank out of sight, indicating that there was no bottom within 40 feet to support a bridge. One pile having disappeared, the contractor hoisted another immediately over the first and in two blows drove the second down beyond the reach of the hammer. There was no foundation within 80 feet. Pilings were abandoned and cribs of logs were laid upon the turf so as to get a wider base than offered by piles. The bridge made thus always shook when crossed by heavy teams and gradually settled till it was in the middle of about five feet below the original level." End quote. And that's from J.S. Hittell. A History of the City of San Francisco and Incidentally of the State of California, which was originally published in the 1870s. Built as a toll road with an eight-year franchise granted by the city, it opened after repeated repairs to the 7th Street Crossing finally stabilized the thoroughfare. Tolls ranged from 25 cents for a single horse and rider to $1 for a four-horse team. Wilson's company saw returns of up to 10% per month on the investment when traffic boomed on the new road. Its success also increased property values and developments around the mission, a pattern that was to be repeated for decades to follow with every streetcar line and road built by private developers in San Francisco. The toll house was on the west side of 3rd Street at Stevenson Street. In those days, recalled one resident 20 years later, when you had turned the corner of 3rd Street to Mission going west, you were pretty well out of town." End quote. 